to my channel. So today I have an exciting update. We are going to be rolling out some eyeshadow for my pan those eyeshadows. I've hit one pan and I've also got all of my uses on another one. So we have only one pan to share today. But out of six shades that I'm working on, I feel like this decent. And so we're going to be rolling in two new shades. And yeah, let's get into it because I have all of these to go through. Okay, so as always, I usually go with the one that I've used the least, which is from my Makeup Revolution palette. This is the Dangerous Love palette, it's like the Batman one. And I'm working on the shade Marry Me, and I've only used it twice this month, and it is this one right here. I just haven't really been into my gold lately, so it's been a little bit of a struggle, but I do think I will hit pan before I need to roll it out. I just need to make an actual effort to wear gold eyeshadow, which I do have warmer eyeshadow on today so I definitely could have used it at some point today but I didn't so that's on me. Okay next up I have my Colourpop single it is the side to side from the Sweet Talk. This one I don't feel so bad because it's only been in a month and I have used it four times so I actually have used it almost the same amount of time as that other one where I've had it in for I think three or four months so that's not so good but it is a super shock and I actually have a little bit on today. It's been really good to, if I don't like the shade of a shadow, it's been good to put this on because it brightens it. So the other day I had kind of a dark green and I put this over, which even though it is peachy, it actually ended up working and it brightened the whole look. So that's how I've been using it. I don't know if this is something that I'm going to be able to hit pan on within my 20 uses just because it is a super shock one. So I actually don't need that much when I do go into it and I don't use a brush or anything. So we'll see, but I've only used it the four times. So we have plenty more uses to go before I get to that point where I'm getting close to 20 uses and nothing's happening. Okay, next up we have the pan that I have hit this month is actually from my glam shop, the Musli, M Musli Noa. I oh. I'm sorry, I'm probably saying it wrong. So I used this shade an additional four more times this month and I did hit pan and it is here right there if you can see that. So in this project alone, it took me eight uses only. I had used the shade probably a couple of extra times prior to rolling it in, but not really. So I don't know, at the end of the day, I actually did go in with a brush as well a couple of times. So I think that's why I was able to hit pan a little bit faster than if I just use my finger, but it is a very chunky, flaky shade. So I also feel like I might have lost some product when I went in, which is a shame, but it's something that happens when you do have these extra like thick, chunky shades. But I really like their formula. I don't go on about Glam Shop all that much, but I actually think it's stunning. And this shade in particular, I was swatching it today, it is divine. I don't know why I have not gone into this shade more, but it is so beautiful. And I think for this time of year, it's like a brown with that gorgeous. Yeah, it's gorgeous. I, I want to go into that. Maybe I'll go into it now that this no longer is my in my pan. Those eyeshadows, I might want to play around. So I feel it's stupid, but when a palette is in my pan, those eyeshadows, I really tend to neglect all the other shades. And I have been wanting to use more of these shades. I just haven't got around to it. So anyway, this one will be rolling out. Okay, then we have this one. This one I have also used only five times, but I have hit my 20 uses. So this one will be rolling out and it's obviously the Essence palette and the palette is Circle of Life. And the shade that I've been working on for several months now is this one, Pride Lands, which is just a brown matte. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see, there's a little bit of a dip forming, but obviously with these, <laughs> with these pans, it takes more than 20 uses. I mean, who knew? But yeah, it, it's, it's definitely, I think this would be a 40 use and then hit pan potentially, or maybe I'm very close and I just didn't make it. But this one I've officially used 20 times in the project. So I'm gonna be rolling this one out. This is another palette where since it's been in this project, I really haven't 
played with it all that much. I've gone into this shade and I've gone into this shade and I think one other or couple more, but I haven't played with everything. It's very affordable, this one, but I did buy it because obviously I wanted to use it and I've barely used it. So now that I'm rolling it out of the project, maybe I will see it with fresh eyes and I want to dip into it a little bit more. Okay, next up we have this palette. This is the Killer Purr from Menagerie. So I rolled in this shade last month. It's only been a month, but I have used it seven times because I've really, really enjoyed it. It is the shade Pride and it is this one right here. And I don't know if you're gonna be able to see, but I do have a dip forming. It is getting awfully dark here as I'm filming. I'm, I'm not filming in the morning, which I should do. But yeah, look, I have a dip after seven uses. I'm mean, gonna have used the shade prior to this but really I didn't have, like it didn't look like it had been used. So that's seven uses. I've been really enjoying it. I've been pairing it with some more like cooler tone um, shimmers and it's been really, really enjoyable. And the actual formula itself is so buttery. It's so soft, it's so delicious. I just, I, I always go on about Menagerie Cosmetics. I just don't have like the perfect color story from them in terms of a palette. Although this is pretty damn perfect. Like, like I love this palette, but I don't have any others where I'm like in love. And yeah, I, I'm very, very pleased with this. I think this will be rolled out actually next time if it's if it's if it carries on the way it's going. Like how could I not have a pan in it next time unless these are super deep? I know that Alex, if you're watching, I know that you put pan in one of the palettes, maybe not this one, the other one, and I think it took a long time. So I'm hope I mean it does look like it might be a deep palette. So I don't know. But um I'm hoping, I'm hoping and praying that I can roll it out because I, I actually just loved going into that organically this month so that's been a joy okay and then the one that i went into the most is actually this one are we surprised this is the avatar from the last airbender uh from lethal and it is the palette the air palette and i rolled in this is just from last month but i rolled in this one here so it's just a setting lid shade for me it's called air temple i've used it 11 times since my last update yeah you can see a little bit of a dip but I don't know if I'm gonna hit pan before I'm up because I feel like this is gonna be rolling out of the project next time. So I only have nine more uses to hit pan or I roll it out. And I feel like I'm not gonna hit pan, which is absolutely fine. I do like this matte formula. It's a little bit less buttery than the Menagerie, which is fine, I don't mind. But it actually has been really surprising. I really, really enjoyed the formula. Um, you know what, if I hit pan, I hit pan, but I'm not fussed. I've used it 11 times, quite a bit more than anything else, but it's been a very easy shade for me to use for a lot of different looks. So obviously that one is staying in. So to recap, we have four shades that are all staying in, and then I have two that will be rolling out. So we're gonna be rolling in two new palettes. I'm so excited, I'm so excited. All right, here we go. I think I have all my new ones because obviously we rolled in a new palette last time. If it is already in a project, I will re-roll. So we have the Odin's Eye Jewels and Gems. That's interesting because I just pulled that from my Shop My Stash and it literally is right in front of me. So I don't treat my Shop My Stash as a project. They're just palettes that I wanna use in the month, whether I use them or not. I'm not going to be mean to myself about that. So this one might be a good one to have actually for now while I have it out. I just filmed my Shop My Stash a couple days ago. So it's still pretty fresh to me and yeah, okay. Which one do I wanna hit pan on? Ooh, that is going to be the hardest thing to decide. I tend to always go for this shade here, which is a lovely, very muted lilac mauve, very light shade. Um, I do think I might like one or two shimmers. I think that's probably it. Let me just swatch this one. This is called Elatedness. I don't really think I like this. It is more of their powder ones. It's not so bad. It's just very glittery. I find their, I find their, um, their shimmers very glittery. I think I'm going to go with a matte and I think I will go with this one that I went into for my, <laughs> for my shop, my stash. I just think it's a pretty matte and yeah, it's cool tone. I think I'm going to go for that one. So that one is called 
ecstasy. So we're gonna be rolling that one in. All right, next up, let's see what we get. Let's try to get something that I can wear, which I, I think I can wear that, that Odin's Eye. Dubious Place Bronze Rustic. Okay, so I've actually gone into this palette already this month because it is part of the palettes that I wanted to use for like autumn, fall. And I actually went into it last month, last week, sorry. <laughs> and like right at the beginning of the month. So I already have two pans in here and I wanna say this one took me a really long time. Uh, just looking at it, ooh, I don't know. Maybe I'll go with the dark one. I might, I might wanna go with like, I mean, it's not super dark, but it's the darkest in the palette. I don't wanna go with another shimmer because I liked this shimmer more than that one. I just don't think I have it in me to, cause there's like barely anything on here anyway. It looks unused. Um, however, I really like this one and I really like this matte. I have used this one a few times, obviously, but I think I'll go to this one. So let's swatch. So it's much more red than I remember it being. Like it has a, like a re brick red undertone. So it's very warm tone next to that lilac. <laughs> um, anyway, let's watch everything else I have in here because this is kind of a strange color story now. All right, so this is actually a very warm tone aside from two. So we've got this one from the Menagerie and this one that are far more cooler um, I did not swatch the lethal one just because there's nothing to see with it. Um, and then we've got these two shimmers, which side next to each other. We've got the side to side and the marry me. They're, they're all quite warm. So I'm gonna have a warm, which is fine. I think fall and autumn can be very warm. I just have naturally, aside from today, I have naturally just been trying to go in with, I know the lighting has gone wild, so I'm sorry about that. I have gone into more cooler tones the last few days. Uh, so this will take me back to the warmth, but I do think this khaki will go with these. I mean, they're already together. This one really is a little bit jarring, but aside from that one, I just don't think, I just don't, I wouldn't want to pick this one from the Juvia's Place. And I, I just had this shade, like a very similar shade like this, from the Essence palette. And I, I think this one's a little bit different. Whether I, yeah, probably not gonna hit pan in it, but whatever, this is my new color story if you can see that. <laughs> All right, fun, anyway. Um, yeah, this lilac one doesn't really go with anything. I will be able to pair it with the side to side ColourPop single though. Um, I think that's about it. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you'd like to, and I will see you all next time. Bye.